As Tony Khan would say, there's a major announcement to be made. And we've got a pretty major announcement of our own to make. Because for once, we finally agree with something an AEW wrestler has said. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And we're here to talk about Britt Baker. Yes, Britt Baker. We've never really seen eye-to-eye -eye with Britt Baker. I mean, this is someone that was so desperate to get five stars off Melt. So the first thing they asked after their match when the blood was pissing at their head was, did it get five stars, Dave? So, yeah, this is obviously not someone that we agree with. However... They have uh, lately having to defend themselves over a t-shirt that they released on AEW.com. Um, a lot of angry AEW fans have been complaining on Twitter. Britt Baker has defended herself and her, I guess, decision to make this t-shirt. And I, for one, had to agree with Britt Baker. So, like, a couple weeks ago, Britt Baker was getting beat up in the ring while Adam Cole was handcuffed to the ropes. The outcasts were... Basically, laying in some stomps, had a kendo stick. I believe one of them, I don't know, punched or kicked or something. Kendo stick, though? Kendo stick. One of them gave Britt Baker a black eye, and then the outcast later the following week celebrated that. They were bragging about giving Britt Baker the black eye, and they posted a picture of Britt Baker on the Titan throne with said black eye. So Britt Baker came out the following week after that, with her own t-shirt with that image of her in the black eye and they put it on a t-shirt and i believe it's like one of the I don't know, best selling t-shirts or whatever on aw.com or whatever and uh so she basically turned what the heels were doing and she like turned it into like a a, a positive thing for her so she's kind of like showing up the heels because they thought they were mocking her and now she's turned that... She's making cheddar. Now she's turned that into profit. She's turned that into a t-shirt. However, a lot of wrestling fans have been coming out here and they have been bashing Brett Baker for supporting domestic violence, which I can't... That baffles me 100%. Uh, there's multiple Twitter accounts. Not going to go through them all. One person said, try explaining this shirt to non-wrestling fans. Um, another one said it supports domestic violence. I don't think it supports domestic violence, right? But I think it is a weird one where if you see it in public and you didn't know about wrestling, you'd be like, that's a weird shirt. I get you, that. Do you not see people's point there? I don't think all It's not like, here. Yeah. domestic violence is great, but at the same time, like if it was Chris Benoit, if it was a picture of Chris Benoit, man, locking Daniel Benoit in the crossface, that'd be a bit different. But I can see both sides of the coin here. No, I can't. Look, end of the day, she's got this. She's got this. Um, she's got this T-shirt. Not forcing anyone to buy it. If you buy it, then so be it. She's not forcing anybody to buy it. And people are saying this supports domestic violence. I mean, supports domestic violence. That is fucking asinine. The fact anyone can say that this T-shirt supports domestic violence. First of all, it's simply Britt Baker with a black eye. We have no idea how she got this black eye. Why are we assuming that the black eye is the responsibility of a man that she's in a relationship with? Why all of a sudden... Adam Cole, baby. No, but why all of a sudden are we just assuming it's a man that's gave her this black eye? Well, that's it. That's the could've got, she could have got in a fight with well, a woman. this way, right? Say it was Adam Cole came up with this t-shirt. We probably wouldn't sell as much, but they would not think it's domestic violence. Exactly. They would, I mean, a, they would think it's his wee gymnastic class that he takes on TNT on Wednesdays. The fact that a woman has some sort of black eye or nosebleed or something like that and it's just presumed automatically that a man gave her it, that just shows you where we're at in 2023. And the fact that sexism is alive, but it's definitely not against women. It's 100% against men. Anyway, Britt Baker was replying to these comments. She tweeted, and I quote, how does it support violence? I got a black eye in the ring. My enemies put a pick on a shirt to troll me and I outsmarted them. Does that mean all the top selling bloody t-shirts are supporting murder? If a male wrestler had a shirt with a black eye, would you be pissed? Question mark, end of quote. No, she would not be. Um, there's, she's already got a picture. Uh, she's already got um, a t-shirt on AEW with blood coming down her face. There's like the MGF CM Punk t-shirt with like a big blood handprint on it and she's right does that hand uh, does that handprint with the blood 
signify MGF killing CM Punk. No, it does not. And now all of a sudden, we're supposed to believe that her having a black guy supports domestic violence. Absolutely not. What about Walking Dead? When we see, like, skulls, or Sons of Anarchy, you see skulls. The Walking Dead, you maybe see, like, flesh. You know, uh, like, dead walkers or whatever. What about people that haven't watched The Walking Dead and they see someone walking down the, the street with a t-shirt on that's, like, got a blood, like, a zombie with his neck cut or open or something? Does that mean that they think, oh, look, that they, they're supporting murder because they haven't seen the show? Murder! No, I know, I get you. Oh, someone hasn't seen something. Oh, look, there's a, there's a skull there. Does that mean, oh, look, they're supporting a dead body. They're supporting someone's murdered that and there's a skull. It's ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous that, that this is a, a thing. No, it is. I know I agree with you. No, I am definitely more in the, the uh, it's, it's alright group now. Well, Ric Flair blades all the time. If there's a picture of Ric Flair bloodied, on a on a shirt is that is someone going to go oh look Ric Flair's wives have been beating him up again <laughs> Ric Flair's been bleeding again <laughs> if someone doesn't watch wrestling and they get the wrong idea the t-shirt that's on them that's they've gauged the situation wrong they've judged it wrong who's wearing wrestling t-shirts in 2023 though well, well certainly I wouldn't be wearing one but <laughs> if, it is, if it is it wouldn't be this one but you know each to their own but to say it supports domestic violence is ridiculous no that is no, if you could, if, if, if you, people question like that shirt, like that's a bit weird. All right, but if, if you actually come out and say it supports, if it. you turn around and says that looks like someone who's been like beaten up, or if that looks like a, a shirt of domestic violence or something, then that's fair enough or whatever. That's your opinion. But how does it support domestic violence? Is the is the proceedings from these shirt sales going to fucking people that beat up their their partners? I don't Absolutely. think so. I don't think so. Money's going to Tony Khan and Britt Baker. So, I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, it just shows you how fucking far wrestling's come. The, the, the whole thing is... I mean, personally, I mean, I, I wouldn't wear the shirt. It, it's just some woman with a black eye. I don't think the shirt looks good. But I, I don't think the shirt should be cancelled. Uh, I don't think the shirt signals, um, you know, uh, domestic violence at all. And it, it's just crazy that... As soon as we see, as soon as we see a woman like with some sort of injury, it's just presumed that it was done by a man. But like we could see a man release a shirt with a black eye. I mean, see if Becky Lynch released a shirt with the with the same thing. Would that be, would that have been supporting domestic violence? Well, the nose. Yeah, I know that's it though. Probably would have been. No, what, what, people, what, people but that image, that, that that image, that photo was iconic, right? Went to, well, iconic. Not, <laughs> no, that photo, that photo made the rounds. That photo pretty much gave Becky Lynch her big break in wrestling. Like, that hand at her, her the the you know the step ladder to her career, her push, whatever. I mean, you could argue when that was going viral and that picture was like popping up on Facebook and shit. What about people that don't watch wrestling? Are they going to look at that and go, why is that? Why is that ginger woman got a bloody nose? I wonder if her Irish husband did that. What? What's going on here, laddie? Pint of Guinness. In You've here. been beating up your girlfriend there, lad. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, guys. Anyway, that's it. Let us know your thoughts down below. But again, um, it's just a fucking t-shirt. It's not that deep. It's not that important. If you don't like the look of the t-shirt, then don't buy it. That's it. And you know what? If it's There's a lot more offensive t-shirts about than this. Yeah, absolutely. There's Any nothing offensive about it. Anything with a rainbow. <laughs> I'd rather wear this. So yeah, um, that's it. For us, I mean, I, I just don't see the dirt. I mean, you've got Austin with skulls, and he, that's okay. The Rock's got a bull. The Rock's got a bull. I mean, I, I just don't see why this is so fucking bad. It's not bad. Got Mick Foley's probably got a t shirt with yeah. a tooth hanging out or something like that. car crashed. Do you know what I mean? Wire smiley face. Yeah. So it, better emojis, yes. Does doesn't make any sense to me, guys. Anyway, guys, that's it. Britt Baker defends herself from uh, idiotic fans that are claiming her shirt is supporting domestic violence and again I just think it's funny that a woman has some sort of injury some sort of like a physical appearance where she's hurt and it's it's automatically assumed that it's a man doing it even though on wrestling all you see is like women literally beating up men <laughs> so maybe the real domestic violence is the other way about anyway guys that's it catch you in the next one until then peace